Welcome all, welcome back at uh, any help assist in this example we'll have a house which is 105,000 in 1993 and now the value is in fact it was uh, 155,000 in 2001 and on part A we need to find the annual growth rate between these two years so what do we want to do first? We want to find out first how many years are between 2009 and 1993 and that will be simply subtract them and that will be eight years. Okay, so we know the number of years. Now this is the exponential growth or decay formula I can use. This is going to be exponential growth. The value goes up. So I expect to get a positive rate. <clears throat> so now um, in, in our case we can think like uh, that the actual value of the house equals the uh, uh, value, initial value, uh, I'm going to call it A sub 0, which is 105,000 times B to the Tx will be, in, other case, in this case, number of years. So what do we know here? We know the value in 2001 it was 155,000. Original initial value is 105,000. And now we have to find this uh, B, and we know T was 8 years. So, first thing I will do to find the B will be to divide by 105,000. And uh, these to cancel out. Of course, you can cancel out the three zeros here. I think it makes the math easier. And in your calculator, you can just divide 155 by 105. Let's see how much that is. <coughs> I end up with 1.476. I will keep the number in the calculator why not it's easier to handle and now i want to find b so for that reason i'm going to take what is called the eighth root the eighth root of this number and in the calculator in my calculator which i use uh, i'm going to raise it to the power of one over eight to get what i need and again i'm going to copy maybe the four or five digits after the decimal point, 0, 4, 9, 8, 8. Okay? Uh, this is what B is, which I said is, I expect it to be more than 1, this B. But we need the annual growth of rate. What you should remember is that B is 1 plus R, which is the uh, growth rate. Okay? So, the number I have in my calculator, I'm going to copy again just a... Uh, the first five digits equals 1 plus r. For finding r, I'm going to subtract 1. And I have r equal um, 0 0.04988, which is a good answer. However, let's try to get in a percentage form, because sometimes you need that. And that will be just move the decimal twice to the right, and you get four point. I'll round it to the nearest hundred in this case, 4.99 percent. And that's part A. Let's move to part B. And part B, <clears throat> the growth will be the same percentage, and we need to find what's the value of the house in 2006. So the first thing, 2006 minus uh, 1993 this is uh, 13 we have 13 years between 2006 and 1993 so in this case we have a equals a sub zero so again the same formula that we have here 105,000 times the b remember we did the b before so if you still have it in the calculator that's great i do 1.04988, just the first five digits I copy, to the power of 13. OK, 
Okay, so now the calculator will be a good tool. I'm going to raise this number to the 13th power and then multiply by 105,000. And I end up with this wonderful number, uh, 197,717. And I'm going to copy the first three decimal just in case you want to do that. Okay, but well, this is the exact value. If I need to round it to the nearest thousand, what will be that? 198,000 if I want to round it to the nearest thousand. So be careful of rounding. If you enjoy this example, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.